Pad's professional hyperlinks line sim allows you to simulate arbitrary complex schematics that contain virtually any kind of interconnect. Transmission lines, lines referenced to specific cross sections, lines referenced to a PCB stack up, connectors, cables, and so much more. Certain phenomena in high-speed digital systems arise, and they should be analyzed early in the PCB design process. Crosstalk, for example, occurs when a signal is intentionally driven down one conductor, but causes an unwanted signal to appear on another nearby conductor. The induced signal appears even though the two conductors are not conductively connected to each other. Differential signaling also makes use of electromagnetic coupling, although in this case, the coupling is intentional rather than accidental. By placing two PCB traces, for example, in close proximity, you can ensure that the noise externally induced on one of them also appears on the other. But placing traces in close proximity causes them to couple, and concepts that are key to differential signaling, like differential impedance, arise directly from this type of coupling. PADS Professional Hyperlinks Board Sim allows you to simulate traces on an actual routed PCB, including all the details of each trace's layout so things like individual metal segments, vias, pads, and so forth. You can use any mix of BoardSim's crosstalk interactive and batch simulation features based on your needs and problem nets. Since simulating crosstalk is arguably the most complex of all types of signal integrity analysis, your goal should always be to maximize the efficiency, focusing on the likely problem nets and getting results earlier in the design process. If you are aware of which nets are likely to exhibit crosstalk, you can use an interactive simulation. If you do not know which nets are likely to exhibit crosstalk, you can use quick analysis in batch simulation to quickly create a report containing a list of nets sorted by the estimated maximum amount of crosstalk. Then, depending on the number of problem nets found, use the report as a guide to use an interactive or detailed batch simulation and fix the problem here. Thank you.